You asked, can I charge my EV while driving? The short answer to this question is not really, maybe a little, and yes. It all depends on who you ask and what the question actually means. What did he say? Hey. If you're confused, well, we are too, because when it comes to EVs, it's actually still an evolving field. There are battery powered EVs, plug in hybrid EVs, and hybrid vehicles with a battery. You see where I'm going here. It's an evolving technology and a bit like VHS and beta video recorders many decades ago, different technologies or a mix of technologies are fighting for supremacy. And don't even let me start with hydrogen powered vehicles, which could also be in the mix of our future transport landscape. Although EV technology has increased profoundly over the past few years and is constantly evolving each year. They don't have the ability to charge while driving as of yet. So the answer to your question is no. You may be thinking, how come a petrol car is able to charge its battery when driving? Well, the answer is that conventionally fueled cars have an alternator that creates a current and sends it back to the battery while driving. But electric vehicles and petrol cars are not designed in the same way. Since electric cars don't contain a conventional engine, there is no mechanical energy or alternator that can be used. But wait, if the EV has solar cells embedded in its roof, then it can charge the batteries while parking and driving. So the answer is, also actually yes to this question. Now let's take a look at cars that have this feature in detail. The Hyundai Sonata is a plug-in hybrid vehicle that has a 44 kilometer EV range battery. It's currently offering a solar roof option too though. Unfortunately, however, with an approximate 200 watt roof cell capacity, such a setup will really only charge the car for about six kilometers of additional driving on a sunny day. And that's only if the car is parked in the baking sun all day. It will also save you about $400 in petrol costs per annum. As you can see, the cells look impressive on the car, but they don't actually deliver big numbers. So you may well ask yourself, are they just a gimmick? Even if we still manage to put cells on most of the surface of the car and solve the inverter and shading challenges, the maximum that current technology will allow is really just a very small 600 to 700 watt solar system per car. This will give you on average three kilowatt hours for a full sunny day charge. If this car would have a 500 kilometer range and a 60 kilowatt hour battery, we would have to park it in a sunny spot for 20 days to get the battery fully charged via the solar cells on it. Per annum, such a car would give us close to 8,000 kilometers worth of free travel, or about 25 kilometers per day. This is much better than the Sonata, but is still not enough for most drivers. Something to be known about hybrid cars is that they can actually charge their batteries while driving. It does so because every time the driver breaks the electric motor, the car gets reversed and like a generator, it feeds energy back into the battery. These are very small charges every time, but the cumulative effect can be quite decent. Naturally, however, the majority of energy released to drive the vehicle is still coming from the conventional combustion engine, which forms part of this hybrid technology. Altogether, this leads to a big question of can electric vehicles charge while driving in the future? The main idea that has been explored and researched recently is wireless induction charging. Much like how wireless charging is a common trend with your mobile phone, with the introduction of metal charging plates or coils under highways and main roads, EV owners one day in the future might actually be able to drive while driving along major roads or highways. Just like a T2 lane on the roads, there may be a designated charging lane, which would be useful for electric vehicle owners. So how would this work? Well, induction charging for your phone works by moving energy from an electric coil, which is a cable wound around a core, to another subject such as the phone's battery through an electromagnetic field. In this instance, both subjects are stationary, which makes the job a lot easier. Applied to vehicles, this technology allows for the EV battery to be charged when the car parks over a prolonged period of time on top of a specific charging unit. Of course, for this to work, the electric vehicle has to have a receptor coil installed and aligned with the emitter coil in the pad, on top of which the EV is parked. The issue with this technology is if we park for a while, we might as well just plug the car into the charger in the first place and get a more efficient result with cheaper and proven technology. The challenge is to charge this battery electric vehicle while we're driving. To achieve this, we would need to develop dynamic induction charging. In this scenario, the EV moves along a series of emitter coils, which are located under the road surface. Each time the EV drives across the coil, for that split second of time, it will receive a little boost of charge for its battery. As you could imagine, creating lanes with many kilometers of coils embedded in them will be very expensive and will require a hell of a lot of copper coils. Given the cost and CO2 generation that such infrastructure would require, 
we really can't see this technology being rolled out into standard cities, streets or laneways anytime soon. Therefore, as of current technology in the electric vehicle industry, EVs really are unable to charge substantially while driving. However, regenerative braking, which is also used in hybrid vehicles, is one way that you can get a little bit of extra range when driving. Nevertheless, the future is quite promising for this topic, and it would not be surprising if we see EVs being able to charge while driving in a decade or so. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.